I'm running Jedi Joy here. So, Whole Foods, I wanted to tell you about an issue you have, and it's just a repeated issue. So I order all of the time organics. The Jedi only eat organics. And um, whether it may be, like this one is uh, short ribs. This morning I tried to get organic short ribs. And I order them, they're available online, they have them at the store. When the shopper goes, they pick conventional. They pick the wrong thing, they send it to you. They don't even have the prices that match. What happens is they say, okay, how many pounds was it? 3.17. They punch that in as if you'd bought organic since that's what you ordered. So even um, on my order, it was supposed to be like 30 something dollars, like $37 or something like that. This only says 28 because organics are more expensive. So what they're doing is I'm ordering organics they're sending me conventional and they're charging me for organics. Now, I can get my money back, but here's the thing. I do get my money back, but because we don't eat this. But now Whole Foods loses $28 every time they make this mistake and it happens daily if I order. I mean, it's like I mean not daily, but I mean that it's often enough. It's several times a week if I order, they will get it wrong. And Whole Foods is losing numerous amounts of conventional beef this way. Because people are ordering organic, getting conventional, they're not going to pay and keep conventional. Even if I ate conventional, I wouldn't pay organic price and then eat conventional. But I don't eat conventional, I only eat organic, so I have to give it to the neighbors. Which is nice, but that's even irritating because people don't understand why you're giving away meat. They're like, I don't understand, and there's this coronavirus, so it's kind of weird, but I don't want it to go to waste. But So I have one neighbor that's and understands now so they're okay with that but a lot of people find it very weird right now and I try to explain to me eat organics I can't eat this they gave me my money back but they are losing out on this people are like why would a store be losing out on $30 of meat you know several times a week um, I mean it will probably happen daily if I order daily it's, it's that bad of an issue the shoppers do not know what they're buying you need to educate the shoppers there are two types of food at Whole Foods there's conventional and there's organics they're very different people that like organics are very serious about organics for the most part if they're ordering strictly organics some people might throw in some organics they're maybe not as serious but we are super serious about eating all organics we do not eat conventional I will not eat this we one day tried to eat one of the steaks they sent us because they just kept doing it wrong as we said fine let's try and Jedi Rich did not feel good for like a week after we do not eat conventional anymore once you get away from conventional and you eat all organics, you'll see the difference. When you're eating it all the time, you don't notice, so you'll say, oh, I eat it, I don't get sick. Yeah, because you don't notice because you're eating bad food all the time. But when you eat good food and then you go back to bad food, you'll feel sick right away because your stomach will go, oh, I remember that. That did not feel good. I eat good food now. So the reason why I'm saying this is it's Whole Foods, this is really, really bad for your business. You have to educate your shoppers because people that want organics are not going to set up for getting conventional and paying organic prices. For one thing, that is so ridiculous. So they literally sent me something that's $28 but charged me $30 some odd dollars. Like, I think it was like $35 or $37. So even if I had eaten this, I would have been paid way too much money for something. You know what I mean? But I don't eat it. So now I have to go give it to the neighbors, which seems like that's great you can give meat away but I'm telling you people think it's weird they don't understand why I'm giving them meat they're like uh, what's wrong with it nothing's wrong with it I just don't eat conventional uh, okay you know oh so meat's not good enough for you you're gonna no I, I just am on a very strict organic diet so it becomes very weird for people and it's a waste of money for Whole Foods and Amazon Amazon now owns Whole Foods this is when I order on the Prime Now app um, so for you guys that don't know, you know, you can order Whole Foods from the Amazon Prime Now app, but um, they will on the app have the right thing, but when it arrives to you, it's wrong because the shopper has to go find the item. So it doesn't matter what you order, now it's on the shopper to find the right thing. And I've had the wrong things so many times. I mean, countless, count, almost every, almost every order has something wrong on some level, whether it be, uh, the meat or um, they put uh, they don't deliver the right amount of Gerald Steiners or they don't let me order Gerald Steiners and um, there's just always things wrong it's crazy and it's all on the shoppers so you guys have to educate the shoppers because it's a wonderful system but it falls 
short when the shoppers pick the wrong items and then the store loses out on money and the, and the customer's not satisfied. I'm, I wanted ribs today. Now I don't have these. I don't want to do it again because guess what will happen? They'll do the same thing again. I've done that before. I tried one time the same day to do it again and they did it twice in one day. And I said, I can't I let the store lose that much money. This is ridiculous. I don't have a car. So that's why I'm ordering online. If I had a car, I'd run up there myself and bring this back and give it to someone at Whole Foods, but I don't have a car. So this is a really, really serious issue. Whole Foods, Amazon, you guys have to educate the shoppers. I love your system. It's the best thing ever, but the shoppers are making you lose fortunes. Thanks, guys.